Hola, this is the Spanish 3 presentation for the present tense stem changing verbs. This is the flipped lesson, so you should be watching this on your own time and not in class. So just a couple things with the flipped lesson. You have your notes in front of you, so you want to fill those in as I am going through this presentation. If I'm going too fast, you can feel free to pause, stop, rewind, uh, please work at your own pace so you learn the material as best as possible so you're prepared in class the next day to review. So let's get started. So just a quick review of present tense. So you remember to conjugate most verbs in the present tense, you simply take off the last two letters and then you add the new ending. Now remember that that new ending needs to match the same subject pronoun. So for example, if you're talking about yo, then you need to put an o in present tense for the ending. Your endings are as follows. For your ar verbs, it's o, as, a, amos, ais, an. ER verbs, O, S, A, hemos, ace, en. And your IR verbs, O, S, A, hemos, is, en. Now notice for the vosotros here that each one of them does have an accent on the I, the E, and, or excuse me, the A, the E, and the I. So make sure that you're aware of that. Make sure you're copying these notes accurately as well. So stem changing verbs, just as a quick review, uh, stem changing verbs mean that they require a spelling change before it's fully conjugated. Now it's in the stem, it's not in the ending of the verb, hence the name stem changing verbs itself. So just a few examples. So do you remember the verb jugar, one that we use pretty often in uh, classes level Spanish one and two? So the yo conjugation for that would be juego, something that we know pretty often that is actually a stem changing verb. But as you see, the verb is jugar. So what happens? It's a stem changing verb. So there are four categories of stem changing verbs and that's what we'll go through in, the, in this recording. So they are as follows. There's e to i e, o to u e, e to i, and U to UE, uh, but just as you saw with the verb jugar, they're very rare. That's probably the most common of, the, of those verbs that you'll see. So just a few ejemplos. So again, you have the verb jugar, which is a U to UE stem changer. You'll also notice in, this, in these notes that we underline the letter for you. That is the one that stem, changers, stem changes, and we do provide how they stem change as well. So the verb to play. So that's what it looks like. Yo juego, tú juegas, él juega, ella, or usted juega. Nosotros jugamos, vosotros jugáis, ellos, ellas, ustedes juegan. Now, which, as you're taking a look at it, which ones do stem change, meaning it's that U to UE, and which ones don't? Hopefully, as you're taking a look at it, you'll see that these ones, if you follow my mouse, these ones here do stem change, and these two do not. So, as I'm sure, again, that's the nosotros and vosotros. So, as you know, these are referred to as boot verbs. It's an easy way to remember it. So, the verbs that are in the boot are the ones that will stem change, and the two, which are the nosotros and vosotros, uh, will not stem change. So, stem changes are often referred to as boot verbs, and I'm sure you've heard that before. So how it works with the boot verbs is essentially it looks just like this with that same verb jugar is the ones that are inside that boot shape stem changes. You see they're underlined here in the PowerPoint and the verbs that are, or excuse me, the conjugations that are outside of it do not. So it has the U for both the nosotros and the vosotros form. So again, just as I had said that they change inside the boot and those that are outside of the boot do not stem change. So just a few examples, you have E to I, E. So we have the verb cerrar, which means to close. This letter here, this E, is the one that stem changes. So it looks like this. Cierro, cierras, cierra, cerramos, cerrais, cierran. So again, you'll see as I put it in the blue, same color as the boot. Those are the ones that stem change. These two are the ones that do not, that nosotros and vosotros. So some additional examples of verbs that are E to I, E are comenzar, which means to start, and pesar, which also means to start. They can be used interchangeably as well. And sender, which means to turn on, is like to turn on the lights. Pensar, to think. Preferir, to prefer. Querer, to want. Recomendar, to recommend. Venir, to come. 
And just as a FYI, the yo form is a go verb. That one is vengo. Now, one quick thing that I do want to point out that a lot of students typically ask, well, how do you know which one stem changes? Because here, it'll never be the last two letters. Because remember, whenever we conjugate a verb, they're always dropped off. However, if you have more than one E right here, so like the verb preferir, you have P-R-E-F-E-R -E after you've removed the last two letters for conjugation. So how do you know which one? What I can tell you is that when you have a prefix, which is um, the first couple letters here, um, those ones will not stem change. So also, the more that you use the verb, the more familiar with it you'll become, and that will be helpful as well. So I hope that helps answer that question if you were thinking that to yourself. The next type of verb, the category is O T U E. So an example would be the verb almorzar, to eat lunch. It is an O T U E stem changer and looks like this. Almuerzo, almuerzas, almuerza, almorzamos, almorzais, almuerzan. Also keep in mind as you're hearing these, and I know it's a lot to listen to, but please pay close attention to the pronunciation that with the yo form almuerzo, you're really hearing that UE stem changer and that nosotros form almorzamos, you're not. So please do be careful of that, be mindful of that as you're listening and also as you're jotting down these notes. So some additional examples of ODUE stem changing verbs, costar, to cost, encontrar, to encounter or to find, Poder means to be able to or also referred to as can. Probar means to try. Recordar to remember. And volver means to return. All O-T-U-E stem changers. The next category is E to I stem changers. An example is competir, which means to compete. So here how here's what it looks like. So compito, compites, compite, competimos, competis, compiten. Hopefully, again, you're hearing that difference between the compito and the competimos. So you're hearing the difference in the E versus the E sound, the I versus the E. Some additional examples. They see is to say or to tell. That one is also a go verb, digo. Pedir to request, repetir to repeat, servir to serve. Now, this is that one category that U to U E that is not very common, but it will show up. So again, that verb jugar is the most common of those that you'll see, and we've already done plenty of practice. So speaking of some practica, on uh, in your packet, you have some practice, and what I would like you to do is to pause this video and take a couple minutes and do, I believe there are six of them, do those practice, and then when you're done, go ahead and run through this video. So at this point, you should be hitting pause, go ahead and do those six, and whenever you have completed those six, press play. So hopefully by this point, you have done the activity, you've gone through all six, and so here are the answers that we're one th we'll run through together. So yo should be pido ayuda cuando empieza la película. Now with this one, be careful. If you got a different conjugation, if there isn't a subject pronoun, so something like yo, tu, el, ella, usted, if that's not there, then you need to look for something else and see what else is in the, se the sentence or question. So in this case, it's la película, which means the movie. And it, in other words, it's saying when does the movie begin? When does it begin? So you use the third person singular. Nosotros dormimos en el hotel. Be careful of this. The nosotros falls outside of the boot, therefore there's no conjugation. So if you did duermimos, just be careful that. Make sure to correct your answer. Tú recuerdas todo porque tienes una buena memoria. Both of those are conjugated in the to form. Unless there's a change in subject here, it will always be that same subject pronoun. In this case, we're given tú in the, the sentence. Número cinco, mis amigos sirven comida con un grupo de voluntarios una vez por mes. And Luis no encuentra la tarea en su mochila. Luis is just another way for saying he, therefore it's the third person singular. He, she, or you formal. That's the end of the presentation. I really hope at this point that you are feeling confident with, with the stem changers. And if you have any questions, please feel free to jot them down and make sure to ask in class tomorrow. Thanks. Adios.